Hey guys, you here, AKA hey, Gina. Welcome to my top 10 GTA 5 crashes so far from competitive racing through non contact and contact. Bonus clips will be but it's pretty much Rockstar's fault with the failure of rendering properly the little poles and lampposts as you will notice, notice throughout this video. But coming at number 10 spot, we have the start of the race through a playlist race, actually, one of the first races. And uh, I'm taking the third position right now. But through my inside knowledge, I try to take a risky line of um, taking the curb get an extra little speed but I timed it completely wrong because there's a little bump there which I did not acknowledge next thing you know hit a pole I went straight into a couple of drivers on top of the car and fling myself like a slingshot to the left which is crazy but I still managed to end up finishing fourth in that race with five laps which is decent I suppose but to another bonus clip a non-contact hot lapping track i was on a pretty damn fast lap right which you notice the little lotus um on the, on the tesla sorry on the right hand side and uh, the car spawned he tried to get rid of it but came right in my way that was perfect time it could not be scripted but he apologized afterwards but i was extremely pissed off because that was one of the fastest laps uh, that i ever had for the hot lap on that particular track coming number nine spot is part of contact race on north loop got the sports race here going to, to challenge the uh massacre with the belt so he goes off the trap decides to come back and spoiler gets clipped with his spoiler that was ridiculous and i spun out and picana overtook eventually that was unfortunate events there on number eight spot right now this part of another playlist track the same playlist from the first initial uh, clip you saw number 10 spot this is the second race click lovers gp check out the spreadsheet for the times there this was interesting i was obviously uh failing in this particular race but i decided to go for a hot lap so i'm on a pretty nice lap here this guy spins out comes right back into the track did not realize i was coming at very high speed trying to squeeze for the gap there wasn't expecting that caused a very unnecessary collision that was unfortunate events there now another bonus clip obviously due to rockstar aids here this is ridiculous how can this be such timing see the little bulb just drop in the ground that should not that should not be happening people hopefully next gen that gets fixed but that is frustrating because i was yet on another fast lap there when i'm on my hot lap so anyway number seven got some contact competitive racing and yet again north loop another part of the track with El Meister with the sacro another sort of incident here he tried to take the well i tried to cut in but i did not realize him some freaking chain reactions occurred here and uh, yeah, you see it back there, another reaction. I was so confused, so baffled at this point. Clearly, I, I caused a lot of collisions there, and that was my fault, but that was epic because that could not be scripted, and that's just chain of reactions, people. Now, number six, this is interesting, another contact race in the dark. Picano clearly dropped his glasses, and uh, I wasn't expecting this. Bang! That caused nearly caused me a heart attack because I would never expect that in a contact race from this crew, but th that shit actually happened. My car exploded. So don't try that. Do not do not ever do that. But bonus clip, yet yeah, again, Rockstar's failure, people. Bang. Light bolt drops right there. See, I don't know if Rockstar does that purposely, because that, that shit has happened to me time and time again. The timing of the bulb dropping, of not being able to react to that situation. It's not the lamppost dropping, but it's just the bulb from the top just literally drops and the lamppost actually sits there. Anyway, this is a freaking controversial collision here, which caused one of the guys to rage quit, but turned out after reviewing this particular clip, if you look very very closely at picano's car right now you will notice one thing which is uh see the way he's just glitching about from right to left look at that he teleports to the left right there so he literally was teleporting throughout the entire time literally took out Udwar there and um, yeah this caused many perspectives and controversy which you know is part of contact racing which you know we had to deal with but in this situation here you'll see a um, pretty awesome battle going on for number four spot with Udwa and Bruffy but I got a little bit selfish here I bumped Bruffy in the back which did not benefit his initial crew battle he overtook Udwa who's part of my team I go for the inside line did not know Udwa was gonna cut in I take out my own teammate that was a really very controversial crash that so uh, was quite embarrassing for our team in that sort of playlist i had to put this in for the crash compilation for top 10 because that was ridiculous but number three this was surprisingly a non-contact race right at the start first initial corner there's supposed to be a chicane which did not load up which was rockstar's fault look at this bang no one anticipated that and literally i've not seen this many cars crash in one go in a non-contact environment but that shit was epic couple cars actually decided to uh, manage to go through that but every other car crashed every other car crashed 
Uh, that's just ridiculous. I think three cars managed to go through there. But there's another bonus clip, people. This is a lesson learned never to follow anyone else's lines in front of you. Because if you do that, then this shit will happen. Chain of events yet again through your mistakes. Follow that guy's line. Bang. A little popcorn just popped on the side there. Popcorn chicken, I think, from KFC. That shit was out of date. That shit just exploded on the side there. That was a really bad line. And clearly caused me to crash as well through his mistakes. And that's why you should never follow other people's lines. Anyway, this particular clip was interesting. This was through uh, another contact race in Los Grantos Grand Prix. Um, Pagano overtakes. I'm going to show you the entire lap here because this is absolutely amazing, right? So I make a mistake. A nice little battle goal on here for the, for the uh, obviously, um, first position. Currently second. I'm trying to go take the outside line, but I did not anticipate the bump there. This is the first few attempts of doing this track, so we're still sort of learning it. I wasn't ballsy enough to take the uh, inside line there through the lamppost, so he got a little bit gap between me and him. So, you know, at this point, you know, I'm trying to close out the gap, whatnot. Things seem interesting, right? You know, every, everything's going, all right, you know, it's cool. You know, I've got a few more laps to go. The second lap is six laps in total, so what could possibly go wrong? And the thing is, right, you, you, these, these, these sort of crashes cannot be scripted, right? This obviously competitive environment, people obviously sweating. And when shit like this happens, it just turns into an epic moment, which, you know, you got to look back and say, wow. So coming to the final part of the track, the final sector, it's going to be a right left and a right left turn coming up right now. And then the finish line, right? So picano has got a comfortable lead. He's taking every line properly. I'm just failing miserably here. Now in this particular section is where things get interesting. It's a nice straight. What could possibly go wrong? And you know, sometimes the best things in the game can always go against you, like the curbs. What do you know? Bombaras. This guy, right, did a fast and furious. He literally just clipped that curb. And I managed to overtake just underneath his car. That's really good. to watch that one more time, right? So this guy in slow-mo clips that curb with his front bumper and starts flipping and I just managed to squeeze through underneath now that could not be any perfect of an overtake because if I was if I missed time that I was slightly behind and now he would have clipped my spoiler and I would have went flipping over as well but now one spot this was amazing all right this this was ridiculous so there was a collision right here not a collision but this guy took an absolute atrocious line so that was part of um one of the collisions back there but that was not the clip this is not the clip this is where everything gets interesting so a lag kicks in for contact racing i did not touch like tony but he spun out but because i had to make a judgment call i stopped i wanted to let him overtake because that was not fair all right that shit should not be happening so i made a judgment call i got into um i got into someone's way there but what should look at that so literally it was no point in me having to wait because this guy was unfortunately got into another sandwich and got literally bum rushed and um got caught up, caught up in the explosion chain of events and another dude got fucked up by that as well so this sort of shit is just ridiculous man but it's just epic when you look back at it but hey it is what it is chain of events mostly happens when these epic crashes but hopefully you guys enjoyed you know let me know if you guys want to see uh, more of this kind of stuff you know i don't know if for i thought i'd try something different just get, gather all the clips together which i thought was pretty cool let me know what you guys think what was your favorite crash from this top 10 with the bonus clips hopefully rockstar do fix the lamppost anyway guys if you guys enjoyed this episode be sure to slap the like button and i'll see you guys soon thanks for watching shaggy son now good night peace yay <coughs> Hey guys, you here, right? Hey, yeah, you know, welcome to another episode of Future Cars DLC Potential. 